Hey music fans, as a roadie I had this great opportunity to tour with all these bands. I wrote a book about my experiences on the road and it was the number one new release on Amazon and Bios and it's now sold millions of copies on Kindle. I'm Joel Roadie and this is my podcast, Party Like a Rockstar. This is the track God Gave Rock and Roll to by Kiss. No, 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 it's not by Kiss. But can you imagine having your song covered by Kiss? <laughs> what a trip, you know? It's like Money Machine being made and Cool Factor. Anyway, the song's actually by this band, Argent. And so we're going to listen to the original version together. I honestly don't think I've ever heard it. I think I just know the Kiss version. <laughs> So, as much fun as I'm making, I'm in the unknown here. Why are we doing this? Because it's a cool song, that's why. And also because Tommy Johansson covered it today. So, I thought it'd be fun with you guys to kind of go down this memory lane deal here with uh, Argent first, then Kiss, and then some Tommy Johansson. And so, t- we're going to start with Argent, the original. Let's do this. <laughs> song so we'll stop it for a sec so what are you guys thinking what's going on in my head is that uh, the keys have this very strong yes feel to me and I would have never thought of that I don't think with the kiss version that I'm so familiar with so this is interesting also when he goes in and he starts singing uh, like the, the chorus by the way so it's just so stuck in your head I'm gonna be singing it all night now but as he goes through each verse I love there's just voice that's just so clean and it's just a singing voice. It's not this amazing voice either. It's just some guy singing away and then you get to that killer chorus. So anyway, that's what I'm thinking. What are you guys thinking? That's great. 
just like going in a circle it says dance move uh i love this track i'm an instant fan of argent here i love the raw energy of it the harmonies and everything it, it just has this presence this wonderful power to it and they did stuff i just wasn't expecting i'm not a huge kiss fan just to be honest with you guys sure i know their songs but i never really delved into their catalog much and i just didn't play their music that much as a kid and so it just never really like built upon me. Now I got friends whose entire careers were based off of loving Kiss, but uh, this was cool. I liked it. I, I think it was just such a really cool piece. What I'm intrigued about is, was this a hit, semi-hit? Where was it before Kiss picked it up? And so I'm gonna look that up. I'm gonna find out. And if there's any other stuff that the Argent guys did, wonderful guitar stuff, man, and how the song just kind of cruises up and down is killer. It's a, it's a masterpiece, and the keys, he just hits them so hard, and they sound so killer. So uh, I'm going to jump into the Kiss one now. Hopefully you guys want to join me, and uh, we'll get a feel for that one. It's been a long time since I've heard it, so uh, we'll see together. When you, when you watch them in a row, you can really feel it all because it's so present in your brain. So let's do this. <laughs> I'll see you guys on the next one. <laughs> Hey, the podcast is over. What are you still doing here? Well, while you're here, like and subscribe. Thanks.